Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are doing the next part in our advent calendar series. So I was at Target shopping this week and I found that they have this 12 day prize punch surprise box. So apparently I'm supposed to load this with 12 days of amazing gifts and I'm going to let the kids punch through. I talked to a couple of them to ask them if they wanted to help me figure it out and load it and they said no, they wanted to do the punching. So let's open this up and see what fits and how it works. I have the plastic wrap off of the box and we're going to load it up. So there's a flap right here and you pull this open and it looks like that this part is just some thin paper. I'm hoping that I can reuse this year after year, but we'll see. It does come with instructions. Fill each compartment with your favors, close it, punch it, enjoy counting down the days till Christmas. Punch it through and I will put this up on the screen so you can kind of get a look at it. Because I didn't want to spend a fortune on what was going to go into this advent calendar, I ran to the Dollar Tree. I also had a couple of things from Dollar General and some candy bars and gift cards and things like that. So not every day of the 12 days has to be a super expensive gift because, oh, by the way, this was $10 at Target. I thought that I would start with some of my kids' favorite candy. I have several gifts here that I'm going to load up. If you would like to wrap these, you could also do that to make it an extra fun surprise if you put it in here and wrapped it first, either in tissue paper or some of your gift wrap paper that you have left over from when you're wrapping some of your gifts or even if you're not. They had some cute wrap at the Dollar Tree. One roll would be way more than enough to fill this. All right, so this thing, ooh, and it shakes too. So that's good. Tic Tacs, that fits nicely. There's some nerds. Maybe I'll spread the candy out. I got one of these Kinder Joy eggs because it's chocolate with a surprise inside. I found this, which is a Life Gear LED keychain flashlight. It was $2.99 at CVS, but it looked useful and like something the kids might like. Some of their absolute favorite candy is this Juicy Drop stuff, so I think I'll put at least one of these in here. Let's look through some of the Dollar Tree finds and see what fits in this box. The first thing is a puzzle ball. That's just a plastic ball that you take apart. So they have several fun kind of mind puzzle games that I think would be great for probably kids, depending on how smart the kid is, maybe at least six and up. So I'm gonna put that in there. My younger kids still love and collect Pokemon cards, and so they have these packs. I think I'll put two packs in, so $2 for that day. You can also get the bigger, thicker packs at Target for $4.99. This pack happens to have three cards in it. One is Sun and Moon Forbidden Light, and the other one is Sun and Moon Celestial Storm. Here's just a fun Rubik's Cube with a Christmas theme. It has penguins and husky dogs and Santa Claus. This fits perfectly. My kids like the squishy toys, so here's just a squishy hamburger. Here's a fun blinky Santa nose. My youngest kid loves to do silly things and this nose is perfect for him. I think he'll like it. We'll see when he opens up the box. Here's another puzzle teaser game. And here's another puzzle teaser game. This one's like a baby Jenga. That's it. I'll give you an overview of what the box looks like. Here is the overview of what's in the box and how it looks. Let's put this back together and get one of the kids to come down and punch through these boxes. I'm ready to start the advent calendar. Let's start with day one. 
I don't know how this is gonna go, cause I don't want to punch the thing, but I need to get through the paper. Okay, no, that's way too big. Okay. Tumbling Tower Game, AKA Jenga. Time for day two. I really just don't. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's. Oh, I'm like, what is. I'm like, why is there like this huge glowing. I can get it through. I can get it through day one. Come on. And it's glowing. Oh, it's a blinking Rudolph nose. Just makes me laugh just hearing it. Okay, day three. Come on. Come on. A squishy of a hamburger. Just go. Come on. Oh wow. I. Okay. I'm like. That was like the toughest piece of paper yet. It's a square having to fit out of a circle. We'll open the box later, but time for day five. Every single time. Oh, I feel Pokemon cards. There's nothing really much else to say. Let's see what day six has to offer. Ah, oh, more squares. Day seven. Wait, right? Yeah, uh, it is day seven. I do that every single time. The mixed nerds. Day eight. Oh, uh, nope, more squares. I'll open it up later. Day nine, my favorite number. That was the weakest punch. Day 10. See what day 10 has to offer. Oh, it's a mini flashlight. Oh, and it goes on like a backpack. Uh -uh. Day 11. This is just like a running feat. What? Some, some of them are just harder than the others, so I'm just like, yeah. But a Kinder Joy egg. Uh, surprise toy inside. It's a surprise inside a surprise. Day 12. It's gotta be the best. Like, it's it's day 12. Like, everyone knows day 12 is the best. I wanna take the most riding on day 12. I'm gonna take the most rides. You know what? A ginormous 200 mint Tic Tac. Uh, the, the biggest container, but, but with the, the Tic Tacs. Now we'll go get out the two, three items that are left inside this. I'm glad that I had Jackson test this out for you so that you will know that some of the prizes, even though they fit in the box, they were too hard to get out of the circle. And of course, you don't wanna open this box to get it out because it would reveal the other prizes. But since he opened them all for you here doing the test, then let's go ahead and open it up. So the ones that didn't fit, surprise, was a puzzle ball, this brain teaser game, that couldn't come out, and neither could the Christmas-themed Rubik's Cube. You may want to take this out so it looks like <laughs> I think I destroyed. You did destroy it. It was hard to destroy. Oh, yeah. So it looks like we can probably replace this with some other type of paper, maybe tissue paper or some thinner paper, but I think gift wrap paper, if I can, I don't know if you can tell on camera how kind of thick this paper is, but it's probably the same weight as printer paper or something like that. So it's a little bit thicker than tissue paper, but thinner than most nicer gift wrap. On a scale of one to 10, how much fun do you think that the punching out advent calendar is? 
I would say it's really fun because you don't know what it's going to be and it's kind of unique because, I don't know, it, it just is. Part of it would depend on what was in the box. Obviously, mm -hmm. if there were, you know, a $10 bill in one of them or a gift card. We were just testing this out today. But if I redo this for you for the actual advent, scale of 1 to 10, how fun would you like to do that for the 12 days leading up to Christmas? 10. A 10. All oh right. God. Okay. It's really fun. So if I can do a better job at getting prizes that fit and I can redo the front, then you can do that for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. Thank you for tuning in to our Advent Calendar series. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss the next video in our Advent Calendar series and so that you can be notified when we make more legal information and parenting videos like these.